Shalom and shalom and so welcome to yet another Funky Bible commentation. Today we're diving into the Wisdom of Solomon 19. As for the ungodly, wrath came upon them without mercy, without end. For he knew before that they would do how that having given them to leave to depart and sent them hastily away, they would repent and pursue them. For whilst they were yet mourning and making lamentation at the graves of the dead, they added another foolish device and pursued them as fugitives whom they had entreated to be gone. For the destiny whereof they were worthy drew them unto this end and made them forget the things that had already happened, that they might fulfill the punishment which was wanting to their torments, and that thy people might pass a wonderful way, but they might find strange death. For the whole creature in his proper kind was fashioned again anew, serving the particular commandments and that were given unto them, that thy children might be kept without hurt. As, <clears throat> namely, a cloud shadowing the camp, and where water sh stood before, dry land appeared, and out of the Red Sea a way without impediment, and out of the violent stream a green field, where though all the people w that were defended with thy hand, seeing thy marvelous strange wonders, for they went at large like horses, and leaped like lambs, praising thee, O Lord, who hast delivered them. For they were yet mindful of the things that were done while sojourned in the land, how the ground brought forth flies instead of cattle, and how the river cast up a multitude of frogs instead of fishes. But afterwards they saw a new generation of fowls, when being led with their appetite, they asked delicate meals. For quail came up unto them that from the sea uh, for their commandment, for their contentment. <clears throat> and punishment came upon the sinners, not without former signs, but by the force of thunders. For they suffered justly according to their own wickedness, insomuch as they used to have more hard and hateful behaviors towards strangers. For the Sodomites did not receive them those uh, whom they knew not when they came, but these brought friends into bondage, and that they well deserved of them. Verse 15, And not only so, but pre-adventure some respect shall be had of those, because they use strangers not friendly. But these very grievously affected them, whom they had received with feastings, and were already made partakers of the same laws with them. Therefore, even with blindness, were these stricken, as those were the doors of the righteous man, when being uh, compassed about with horrible great darkness, every one sought the passage of his own doors. For the elements were changed in themselves by a kind of harmony, like as uh, pastory notes change the number of tune, and yet are always sound, which may well be perceived by the light of things that had been done. For earthly things were turned into watery, and the things that before swam in the water not went upon the ground. For the fire uh, had power in the water, forgetting his own virtue, and the water forgot his own quenching nature. On the other side, the flames wasted not the flesh of the corruptible living things, though they walked therein, neither melted they the icy kind of heavenly meat that was of nature apt to melt. For in all things, O Lord, thou didst magnify thy people and glorify them, neither didst thou lightly regard them, but didst uh, assist them in every time and place. Let us move into Bible commentations. So this is commentations on the Wisdom of Solomon 19, 1 to 22. This chapter recounts the fate of the ungodly and the miraculous deliverance of the righteous during the Exodus. The wrath upon the ungodly, verses 1 and 2. God's wrath upon the ungodly is rentless as he knew in advance their hearts and that they would repent insincerely after being allowed to depart. Verses 3 to 4, foolish pursuit. Of course God would know all these things. The ungodly have mourned at the graves of the dead due to plagues, added to by their folly pursuing the Israelites. Destiny, divine destiny guided them to fulfill the punishment fitting their torment. Verses 5 to 8, miraculous deliverance. God orchestrated a series of uh, miracles to safeguard his people, the whole creation, 
in its proper kind, was renewed to serve God's commandment. A cloud showed the camp, uh, dry land replaced the water, and a path opened the Red Sea. The people witnessed marvelous wonders. Verses 9 to 13, praises for deliverance. The people delivered by God's hands praised him. They remembered the plagues in Egypt and God's provision of quails for their contentment. Verses 14 to 16, Comparison with Sodom. The sins of the ungodly are compared with the unhospitality of the Sodomites that later rejected strangers, but the former treated their guests who were already sharing their laws with great affliction. Verses 17 to 21. Elemental changes. The elemental, uh, the elements experience changes, illustrating God's power. Earthly things turned watery. Creatures adapted to water moved on land and fire acted unexpectedly in water. The heavenly food designed to melt didn't melt, and the flames didn't consume the living beings that walked through them. Very beautiful, 17 to 21. Magnification and assistance. God magnified and glorified his people. He didn't lightly regard them, but assisted them in every time and place. The chapter emphasizes God's role in delivering the righteous and punishing the ungodly during the Exodus. It underscores divine foreknowledge, the fulfillment of destiny, and the miraculous interventions that demonstrated God's power and protection. Let us move into prayer. Heavenly Father, Abba God, as we reflect on the events described in the wisdom of Solomon, we acknowledge your justice and mercy. For the ungodly wrath came upon them without mercy uh, unto the end. For you knew beforehand that what they would do. Even when you gave them leave to depart and sent them hastily away, they repented and pursued those who had asked to be gone. The destiny they were worthy of drew them to this end, making them forget past events to fulfill the punishments lacking in their torment. Your people, protected by your hand, passed through a wonderful way. The whole creature was fashioned anew, serving the commandments given unto them. A cloud shadowed the camp, dry land appeared, and water stood before. And a way without impediment emerged from the Red Sea and green field from the violent stream. Your people, defended by your hand, witnessed marvelous wonders. They went at large like horses and leaped like lambs, praising you for their deliverance. They remembered the strange lad into the ground with brought forth flies instead of cattle, and the river cast up multitude of frogs instead of fishes. Quail came from the sea for their contentment, punishment befell sinners, with thunders as signs of their former wickedness, especially their hard and hateful behavior towards strangers. Even without blindness were these sinners stricken, and they sought the passage of their own doors when surrounded by horrible darkness. Elemental changed in harmony, like notes in in pistillary, as earthly things turned into watery, and things that swam in the water walked upon the ground. The fire had power in the water, and the water forgot its quenching nature. The flames did not consume the flesh of the living things, neither did they melt the way, and the heavenly uh, foot, uh, food apt to melt. In all things, O Lord, you magnify your people, glorifying them, not lightly regarding them, but assisting them in every time and place. May we too find strength in your justice and mercy, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yeshua HaMashiach, and Holy Spirit. Guide us through these challenges of life and, life and protect us from the snares of the ungodly. And lead us in the paths of righteousness. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen.